Hi everyone, my name is Sydney, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few different ways to wrap text in Google Sheets. Not only is it super helpful to know, but super easy to do. Oftentimes, when you're using Google Sheets, you might need to input a long sentence or text string within a single cell. But each cell is small, so long strings of text will inevitably overflow into adjacent cells, adjacent cells that you'll likely need to use, as shown here. You could manually adjust the width and height of each cell, but that's unnecessarily tedious. So to keep things neat and avoid a big mess, Google Sheets allows you to wrap the text within a single cell by adding lines to that cell. Here's how to do it. First, select the cells that you want to wrap. If it's all the cells, then simply hold down the control key and press the letter A. Or if you're using a Mac, then hold down command plus A. Then in the top menu, click format, go to wrapping, and then click Wrap. As you can see, the cell elongates to accommodate multiple lines of text. You can also access this wrapping function by the Google Sheets toolbar, which is just below the menu options. Then perform the same procedure. Just select the cells that you'd like to wrap, and then click on the wrap text icon, and then click the wrap option, the one with the curved arrow. Note that you have to have the text clipping option, which can be accessed from the very same format menu and toolbar that you use to access the wrapping option. Clipping is slightly different from wrapping. It clips the text so that it doesn't overflow into adjacent cells. But don't worry, when you use a clip option, it doesn't delete any text, it just hides the text that was overflowing. Clipping is useful when you have long strings of text that you don't want to overflow and don't need to be completely visible. This can be the case with long URLs or physical addresses. And the last way to wrap text is manually. Because when you rely on Google Sheets inbuilt wrapping functionality, it will wrap based on the column width and height. But what if you'd like to specify where you need the text to be wrapped? That is, what if you'd like to create specific line breaks? For instance, if you're inputting an address, you might want the address to be on separate lines, like the house and street number on the first line, the city and state in the second line, the postal or zip code on the last line, and so forth. So, here are the steps. 1. Double-click on the cell that you'd like to insert, the line break. This will take you to edit mode. In edit mode, click where you'd like to insert the line break and press Alt plus Enter. If you're on a Mac, click Option plus Enter. Note that if you just click Enter, then it'll bring you to the cell below. And that's a wrap with the wrapping. Now you know how to keep your spreadsheets clean, headache free. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then please click like and subscribe below.